Welcome back to day five of Pikmin. Uh, in this part, we're going to go to the impact site because there's one part we didn't get there and it's going to be very, very helpful to go there today. So let's go ahead and take care of that. The impact site. So there's very useful things to do here. For one, you're going to basically get a fuck ton of Pikmin today. So if you're ever low on Pikmin, just do this. I'm gonna get those out. I don't know how many I'll need of this, so... I'm gonna say like... 30 of reds, and then the, all of our blues. I'll probably get more reds out, actually. Five more. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah, sure, do that. Uh, I want you to do this. Uh, I said I want you to do this. There you go. That's a good Pikmin. So like I said, uh, yellows probably have the least uh, priority in terms of what you should be working on expanding. So... Obviously, you want to get the pellets to their designated color. Um, hey. Fucking... Okay, fine. Yes, that's good. Good job. Uh, so yellows, you want basically the least of. The least time spent on growing them. Uh, the reds, you want essentially the most on. But the second most you want is, uh, blues, because there's gonna be a lot of sections in this game where you have to go through water. So obviously that's going to be very useful. Alright, I'm gonna make sure we get all these before heading down so I don't have to come back. Hey, Bitch! I landed right on the fucking propeller. Unbearable! Let's go ahead and just send some up doing that. Uh, these single pellets I don't really give a fuck about, you know. Don't really care about who gets what in that regard. Hey, fuck up there. There we go. So we're gonna get the part basically later in the day. I want to get all the pellets first. Um, because I think what's more important today is getting your ranks up. So if I have to come back here again, that's perfectly fine with me. There's also like not really enemies. Oh, this thing, you have to land Pikmin on to get rewards. And it's kind of hard. You can't attack it from the back. Kind of like that red bug we took care of in the last episode. Alright, it's dropping a lot of uh, nectar. Dang it. Oh well. It will basically only appear once, so... Not much we can do there. Okay, yellows. We'll go up here. Probably getting the most yellows, mostly yellows right now. Uh, but there's a thing... Oh! It doesn't appear just once. How about that? 
But I don't really care about wasting time on that thing anyway, so... There is an enemy up here that will not hurt you. Let's go ahead and go up there. And no, there isn't. I'm a liar. Uh, so... <sighs> There's so much to explain in this fucking game. Uh, basically, there are certain enemies that will appear here depending on which day you come here at. And I'm doing too well, apparently, because... Uh, one enemy is not here yet. I might make a bonus episode or something showing all the enemies you can potentially get. But for now, I'm going to focus on just finishing off the impact site. Alright, only takes three for that. So these things, they're clams. If they close on you, uh, all the Pikmin inside the clam will die. Those pearls on the inside, if you bring them back, give you a hundred Pikmin. They sprout that many. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and try to get them back. Uh, today, I think we can only get two pearls, if I'm not mistaken. And obviously, I'm gonna give that to the reds and the blues. Because we don't really need any more yellows for basically the rest of time. Um, yellows will become crucial, of course, uh, at some point, but, you know... Not right now. And not for really much. I think the least amount of yellows you could possibly ever need is like 20 or 15. Go ahead and make them do that. Oh, don't make the blues. Okay, I need... I really need the blues to do this. So that... Tearing down that wall is obviously going to make things quicker, but it's not necessary. I'm just gonna attack this. And basically, what I recommend is call them back as soon as the clam here stops its last animation. So basically when it stops twitching, it's when you want to call them back. One more round should do it. I definitely don't want to lose a bunch of Pikmin, so... Oh, fuck! Oh, I thought it might have been too late. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and get the ship part. I don't know what this ship part is, but hopefully it's good. Hopefully it's the radar, because getting that early would be great. Alright. Get back here. Oh, only a sliver left, man. Get, uh, get back here. Oh, it always stresses me out. Always. All right, fine. I'm going to carry this out and, uh, then I'm going to make the others do it. Now that's on land, other Pikmin can do it, so... Alright, take this. Please and thank you. We'll have to come back for that, obviously. Uh, since that wall being torn down is going to be permanent, I'm just going to make sure it's done, you know. I only need the blues, and I guess I'll take the yellows. Hello. I'm just laying there, I see. Lazy piece of shit. 
All right. As you can see, there's a lot of Pikmin being grown out down there at the counter. I, I heard that splash sound and I was like, oh my god, did a Pikmin just start drowning? And no, not really. Man, we need one more fucking blue. I have to go back now. Do, 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 do. Alright, get over here, you lazy motherfucker. They give you a lot of time. And... There's more than enough time to beat that one enemy I told you about. Okay. Position... Positron generator. I read that wrong. This electric generator is so powerful that if you approach it carelessly, you'll get an electric shock. I now have recovered 10 out of 30 parts. If I can just find two more, I'll be able to increase my ship's capabilities. That's That shouldn't be how it works. Oh, there's fucking one right there. And there's a red in there, too. Oh, well. Fortunately, I cannot check where my Pikmin are yet. I don't know where the fucking radar is. Like, what the hell? I'm gonna help these carry it back as soon as they get over this hill here. Alright. Good. Uh, let's see. Is there any other Pikmin left around? <laughs> Not really. I'm gonna just make them drink nectar then. Flower. It never hurts to have flowers. It never hurts to have flowers. Okay, they're all here. Good. So there's not much else to do actually. If that enemy was here, I'd just do that but I don't think it appears for a while. <laughs> all right, flowered up, and I think that's all we can really do. So for the first time, I'm actually going to opt to end the day early because there's absolutely no thing we can do to make this any easier on ourselves. So, we're gonna go to sunset. Yes. Absolutely. And it's fair to say we don't have an agreement. Disagreement. Bum bum bum. Bum bum bum. I feel like I skipped this cutscene on the first day, which I was not supposed to do. But hey. What can you do, you know what I'm saying? I'm further away from the mic, and you can probably tell. Alright. I've seen that at times, leave top. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I didn't explain this. Yeah, so if you leave Pikmin in the ground, they will eventually become flowers over time if you leave them there. But I never do that because I don't like spending time plucking. I just think it's inefficient, and it's a lot more efficient just to get nectar. Yes, yes. Alright, so look at how far we've grown. We now have 100 blues, which is really, really good. You want to have at least a hundred per color. Uh, I like to have like 300 blues, 300 reds uh, for most of my playthrough. 
The yellows are at a number that I prefer them to be at, like 150. So, here's what we're going to do. Next time, we're gonna go here and finish this off. See you then!